Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of the Saboteur. I hope that you guys are enjoying this game. I love this game so much. I have another part out for you guys. So let's continue from where we left off. So let's destroy some of the Nazi stuff here. So inside here we got a, um, a general. Uh, and uh, I think the other things on the roof. So I fixed the map. I fixed the issue with the map. Um, I don't know why it was glitching out last time, but it has to do with the resolution of the game. So you see all these like dots that you have like around the map. These are all Nazi targets to destroy around the map. And this is only in this area. I didn't purchase the map for this area, but um, uh, and then there's also you know this. But there's gonna be way more targets up here. I just gotta purchase the map. But this shows you how much stuff there is to do in this game. There's just so much stuff to destroy in the world. Um. But anyways, okay, let's see here. There we go, okay. Nazi general killed. Okay. Now I gotta show you guys something really funny um, out here. Why to show you guys this last time, but um, didn't get around to it. Okay. Okay, destroy this gun here. Okay, let's get off that. That's gonna explode. Oh, I should have taken out the blimp too while I had the chance, but whatever. Okay. Stupid, stupid sniper's nest. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, so these guys, when they come after you, this, this is the SS. This is alarm level 3, which is the second worst alarm in the game. So take a look at this, guys. This is actually a way to hide in this game. That should do it. That's an actual hiding spot. And you actually get a trophy for doing that. Where were yeah, but that, that's one way to hide from the Nazis to do that. <laughs> But, um, anyways, uh, let's go and start up, um, Luke's mission right now. Here, we'll just leave them a little present underneath this tower here. Okay, let's clear out. Goodbye, sniper. Makes me laugh. Okay, let's see. What's the black market guy got? Um, you in some personal protection. Hmm. Get more of these dynamite here. Um. Get these. These give us like a, a tar the targets in the area. So you know these are very important to get these maps and. And so let me show you guys now. Now you guys are going to be able to see the full map. So look, you see? Um, oh wait, so there's there's still more. I guess there's more maps to purchase, but this... So you see there's way more, um, uh, there's way more locations down the countryside you see too. 
All of those are like separate targets to destroy. Tell me, Sean, how did you like your first taste of revenge? I may give up whiskey. <laughs> Probably not. How would you like to meet some new drinking buddies? Who do you have in mind? The Germans are holding several POWs not far from here. Veteran soldiers of the Foreign Legion. Very dangerous man. The leader is a man named Crochet. If we can win his loyalty, the others will follow. And you want me to bust these blokes out so you can put them on the payroll? Will that be a problem? I'm used to breaking out of jails. Breaking in will be a piece of piss. Okay, get to the holding cells. Oh, there's something up here too. Didn't even notice uh, what's up here. Oh, it's like one of those vantage points. Yeah, those. Yeah, this game definitely deserves like a full, um, full remake one day. I hope that we get to see it. But you never really see an open world World War II game. You'd think that there'd actually be more open world World War II games considering how many there, there are out there, but it actually isn't. Okay. Destroy that speaker. How far are these cells from us? Let's see. Okay, they're over there. Okay. him. Okay. Grab his disguise. 1940. Okay. Also leave them a nice little present right here. Approach would be best. Yeah, that's probably for the best. A lot of guards here, and since we're playing on the hardest difficulty, we could die easily. You gotta use a lot of stealth in this game, you gotta play like a resistance fighter, you can't just run and gun and everything. Okay. Join Up the here. And join an ancient fraternity destined to lead the world into the future. That was a bit close, but um, we're still not detected yet. Those guys, the Gestapo officers, they can see through your disguises.
a bunch of snipers here too. See if we can do this quietly. A sniper is staring right at us too. Yeah, see, I see, you see how hard this game can be sometimes. I think I'm eventually gonna get spotted, but my goal is to fin these guys out as much as I can before I actually do get spotted. I do like to play a lot of these games quietly, I don't like to just run and gun. Okay. Most of them are taken out quietly, it's why a silenced pistol comes so much in handy early on. We're gonna have to free everyone though, uh, so we're not just, um, not just freeing crochet. There we go. Who the hell are you? I'm your ticket out of here. Let's move. We need to free my men. I, quick and quiet. So these guys right I'm here. Engaged. Let's go, let's go. These guys are French soldiers that had gotten captured at the Battle of um of France. A lot of the French soldiers, they were, you know. Almost most of them, they were in prison for five years, four years. Um, you know, a lot of them. Uh, some of them were transported to Germany. Others were freed. You know, during the um, uh, the uh, American landings in Normandy. But this is, you know, four years before the U.S. lands in Normandy. Okay, so we got it. So there we go. We did it quietly. So you see, you can, and I think the dialogue actually changes if you're in a disguise versus um. Yeah, but, um, uh, that, that helped out a lot. So we were able to do that mission quietly here. They got these towers, too. Okay, let's go back and see Luke again. Oh, yeah, they're, they're coming to investigate the area. Or out of here. I feel terrible about this. Really. Destroy ten Nazi towers. Carry additional explosives. Okay. okay. Area right here. We can cause a little bit of chaos before we go meet Luke. So you see, we can leave the dynamite there, but we don't even need to shoot it, um, we don't need to light it.
item collect. Oh. Now we're talking. Light this one. Okay, put that charge on there. Still not destroyed after all that? Surprised, okay. a little bit more stuff here on the run and um once i beat the game though guys we're gonna have a hundred percent stream because there is a a way to get a hundred percent completion in this game you have to destroy all the nazi targets and do all the side missions a lot of side activities in this game too okay, we should be able to get in the slaughterhouse and be safe here Okay, we lost them. Good. I'll go tell Luke the job's done. I can relax. That was well done, my friend. The resistance grows stronger each day. Wherever there is a will to fight, our Patriot soldiers will stand ready to strike back against the Nazis. Vive la France! That's all fine and dandy, but we'll need more than slogans when the bullets start flying. We have men ready to fight at your command. From now on, when you give the word, they will come. Backup strike. Um, the strikes call and resistance members to fight with Sean. Hold uh, using R and... Uh, okay. Okay, so I see. Uh, RT... Uh, near a road to call the car okay and so these um uh these um uh these are the side missions the gray ones but the yellow ones are the main missions uh so we're gonna do the, the yellow missions on this part but we'll do the gray missions on another part so don't worry i'll cover all of them you did a fine job nursing luke back to health he owes you no the people of this city owe luke a debt you seem rather taken with him he is an extraordinary man People are whispering his name all over Paris. They are calling him the hero of La Villette. <laughs> Luke's the hero, is that it? I suppose I'm just his chauffeur. Jealous? Bollocks. I promised Luke I'd deliver a package for him. I thought you might like to be my chauffeur for the day. Oh, you want to ride with me? Be glad to. Bon. Meet me out front when you are ready to go. Special delivery. Yeah, I do remember this mission. So where is this package? I have to pick it up. So we'll need a car. Oh wait, there's always a car in front of the slaughterhouse. It gets randomized each time. Thanks for the ride. Luke thanks you too. Who is Luke anyway? He's supposed to be somebody famous? Before the war. Luke was one of the most popular authors in France. His family was as rich as royalty. It's funny. He doesn't strike me as the posh type. The Nazis declared his writing subversive. They confiscated his property and burned his books. Luke was left with nothing. Is that why he hates him? Luke is not driven by hate. He fights because he loves this country. 
this is true. During World War II, the Nazis, and even before World War II, um, in Germany itself, the Nazis had, um, you know, burned and destroyed thousands of books that they didn't like. Um, they had a lot of authors arrested. Like, for instance, that, that movie that just came out, All Quiet on the Western Front, the Netflix one, is, is actually based on a book, The All Quiet on the Western Front. And the whole plot, the book was actually written by a World War I veteran. And for trying to remember the guy's name that wrote the book, but he, um, the book, the book's message in All Quiet on the Western Front, it was specifically an anti-war, you know, book. That was the whole point of All Quiet on the Western Front, because it was these young kids that were going to war for their country and were all excited to fight for their country, but then when they saw the horrors of war, it just completely changed their perspective. This will not take long. Under Nazi occupied territory, you couldn't you you couldn't have a lot of books. You couldn't have radios. If you were caught with a radio, that was very bad. All set. Oui. Merci. Now, we just need to make the delivery. So, radios would uh, the BBC, the um uh British uh, media. They would broadcast to Nazi occupied Europe. A lot of people would pick up the signals. And so um why did you wait so long to give us a shout? I mean, I'm glad you did. It's just well, it's been ages since we hung about like this. I have not been out much since what happened to Jules. Oh, man. I can understand that. Oh, well, it does not seem to have slowed you down much. The girls at the bed tell me you love to drink them all under the bed. Uh, I think you mean under the table. Do I? Well... I'm so glad you sobered up in time to help me with my little errand today. I promise you will not regret it. So about the radios, is that, you know, if you were... Oh, wow. So I see, you know, we got another situation here. Let's stop this right now. So yeah, there's a lot of those, like, random events in the world where, you know, you gotta stop it before the Nazis, um, you know, execute people. They're oftentimes abusing people, harassing people on the streets. And, you know, it does make the world feel more alive. And you, t you, you do see this in, like, the, the heavily, like, you know, oppressed, like, you know, black and white areas. You very rarely see this in, like, the, the colored areas. Escape from here. Kind of weird because during this mission you're you're actually gonna need to um you're going to need to escape um uh, anyways during this mission later on. Okay, for this part, um, we're gonna need a better car. I can't, I can't drive with that car. Yeah, this car is much better, okay. Let me out here. You sure this is it? This place is crawling with crowds. This will only take a moment. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What is that you have there? Oh, it is just some cheese and wine for Colonel Straub. Straub is the lucky one, yeah? Go right in. You are too kind. So I, I knew exactly what she was doing the first time she was going in the um, Nazi building. Yeah, but a bit a bit unrealistic on this part because if she was going in with any kind of package the Nazis would have searched her. Ali, go! Drive! What's going on? Oh, holy shit! Putain de merde! They're coming! Why didn't you tell me you were planning to set off a fucking bomb? 
Are you out of your bloody mind? I knew you would try to stop me. You're damn right I put a stop to it. This isn't your fight. You are wrong. They made it my fight when they murdered my brother. I volunteered for this. Looks like you volunteered the both of us. Going. Later. First, I'll have a word with Luke. What the hell's the matter with you? Now you're using girls to do your dirty work. I haven't used anyone. Those who serve our cause do so because they are patriots. I can't stand that word. I've heard it all my life from men with blood on their hands. This is not a cricket match. We don't wear uniforms, and we don't play by the rules. Every one of us must be ready to do whatever is necessary. I already lost her brother. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose Veronique as well. She can have no part in this. You once said that Jules was his own man. Well, I am my own woman. Do not presume to tell me what to do. Either of you. Count your enemies, Luke. If anything happens to her, you'll have made one too many. I felt Tower's perk unlocked. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, carry additional explosives. Okay. Yeah, so, um, Sean is, you know, being extremely overprotective because, again, remember, her brother died. Um, but, you know, Veronique can make her own choices, you know, she doesn't need Sean to tell her what to do. You want to keep your... Let's see, what is this stuff right here? There's, um... Right near the, um, resistance safe house. Oops. There we go, nice. Yeah, it caused a little bit of chaos there. And what do we got out here? Uh, I think this is a um, SOE drop. Ruger pistol, okay. Well, I guess we will probably wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll have another part for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you once again. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful story.
The resistance grows stronger each day. Wherever there is a will to fight, our Patriot soldiers will stand ready to strike back. But we'll need more than slogans when the bullets start flying. I can see that you are a busy man, Irishman. I can provide you with the tools you need to conduct your personal business. Like what? Guns. Ammunition. Explosives. There is no turning back now. In for a penny. In for a fucking pound.